Of course, the greatest threat to Israel's security is Iran. It is clear to everyone in this room that there can never be any daylight between the United States and Israel, not ever, but certainly not when it comes to Iran's drive to achieve nuclear weapons capability. We cannot, we must not, and we will not stand for a nuclear Iran, period. Let's put the Iranian threat to Israel and the region in perspective. Some people say this is all about Israel. I say it's about the national interest and security of the United States as well. And Iran, with nuclear weapons capability, would be emboldened to take more aggressive actions against both Israel and the United States. Yes, a Shahab-3 missile can hit Israel, but it can also hit a NATO ally. And under our NATO treaty agreement, we are obligated to respond on behalf of any NATO ally. It's already unacceptable and deplorable support for terrorist groups like Hamas and Hezbollah would only increase its provocative behavior around one of the world's most important strategic waterways, the Strait of Hormuz, could escalate, and a nuclear Iran could unleash an arms race in the world's most dangerous tinder box. Clearly, the threat to Israel's existence would increase dramatically, and the situation would become far, far more dangerous. Once we put the extent of the nuclear threat in this context, it is, is easy to see why we need to be prepared to act. We need to be absolutely clear that it is the unequivocal policy of the United States to do everything in its power to prevent Iran from obtaining nuclear weapon capability. And absolutely clear that we reject policy options designed simply to contain a nuclear armed Iran. Containment is not an option for the United States. Any policy, any policy built around the containment of a nuclear Iran is unacceptable. Our clear intention must be to prevent Iran from ever reaching nuclear capability. But let's be clear, we will not and cannot talk for talking's sake. We cannot allow the negotiations to become just a stalling tactic for Iran to buy time. The P5 plus one and the broader international community must unite around a simple message, two simple points. We will never accept a nuclear Iran, and you cannot outweigh us in that goal. In my view, these steps taken together will hopefully convince the Iranians that the only option is to give up their nuclear ambitions. Barring verifiable compliance with all Security Council resolutions and full cooperation with the IAEA, I see no reason, as some are suggesting, to relieve the pressure of any of the sanctions. I see the reason to continue to vigorously enforce them to achieve our goals. Of course, sanctions are only a means to a clear end. In this case, Iran engaging in serious, meaningful, fruitful negotiations that result in an end to its nuclear ambitions. Sanctions are our last peaceful diplomacy tool. But we must also make clear, as President Obama has said, that all options are on the table. And I add that those options must be credible, which is why the Graham Menendez resolution is so important at this time, standing behind Israel in its ability to protect itself and sending that message to the rest of the world.